Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight I'm comparing these two waters. First up is Vita Nourish water. This is water from Las Vegas, and this water has vitamins added to it. This was $1.79 from the store Sprouts Market. Next up is Proud Source water. This is from the Rocky Mountains in Idaho. This was also from uh, Sprouts Market in Utah, and this is, a, this is $2.50. So this one's a little bit more expensive and it's a little smaller. This is 750 milliliters. This is one liter. So you're paying a little bit more for this one, but it comes in like a pretty good quality aluminum can. And so that's the main thing these two have in common. They're both from Utah. They're both from the same store. Um, the Vita Nourish water looks a lot like core hydration water, just a little bit cheaper. Uh, these two actually were sitting next to each other on the shelf in the grocery store. It was sitting right next to Core Hydration. And it has the same lid, you know, same shape of the bottle, same similar designs and, and text on the bottle as Core Hydration. It just looks very similar. And Vita Nourish is a multivitamin water that contains essential vitamins, including vitamin C, B1, B3, B5, B6 and it has no masking agents. Vita Nourish water has nano-sized vitamin particles that cannot be detected by the human eye and it makes it possible for the water to remain clear and refreshing. That's like a quote from their website. And again, this is from Las Vegas. And there's a couple kind of sketchy things about this water. I have never I've never tried either of these, but just researching both of them it's kind of sketchy on the website ripoffreport.com there's a story about the owner of this company like scamming some guy um on ripoffreport.com i i have no way to confirm if this is real or just made up but it is it is really on ripoffreport.com some guy tells a story about investing like a hundred thousand dollars in this company and just getting screwed out of his money and um who knows if that's true or not but anyway, this has zero calories, and um, this one also has zero calories, of course, because it's water. Proud Source Water is from Idaho. There's a lot of good stuff about this. It's gravity-fed to the plant. It's in an aluminum can. You know, a few months ago, I reviewed Costa Rica Rainforest Water in an aluminum can, and in half of that video, or a lot of that video, is talking about how sturdy the aluminum can is. I can squeeze this as hard as I can. It's like, it feels rock solid. It feels like a baseball bat. That's not really the case for this aluminum can though. It's a little bit thinner aluminum. Like if I just squeeze in it, see I can I can move the aluminum with my, with my one thumb. And if you look in the back of it, you can see a big dent. This is because I bought this in Utah and put it in my carry-on bag to go back to Pittsburgh. And it was just, I actually got a, a couple of these and they were all, had little dents in them. This one has a big dent from uh, just from flying home, and um, these were all in my um, my checked bags. And when I got back home, I opened the bags, and <laughs> there was a little note in the checked bag that says, "Like, hey, this note is just to let you know that the TSA opened your bag and <laughs> went through everything and inspected it." Because I'm guessing, um, you know, going through the X-ray machines, it looks suspicious. Just carrying like a bunch of aluminum cans full of liquids so I'm not surprised that they inspected on my bag flying home it's like I was, I was coming home with a ton of different waters to review and I'm finally getting to them so yeah so this is from the pristine Rocky Mountains and a big thing that they advertise about this water is that you can recycle the aluminum over and over and over again you know, with plastic, there's a limited number of times. With aluminum, you can really you can recycle aluminum thousands and thousands of times, and you can turn it into more bottles, more cans. You can turn it into like I don't know, furniture or something. Aluminum, just, there's no limit on how much you can recycle it. This water has calcium, magnesium, potassium, silica, and chlorides. And the total dissolved solids is 166. So let's open these up, give them a taste test. 
Okay. So inside the aluminum, I can feel a little bit of plastic or, or something inside, which I'm not surprised by. No smell. Here we go. There's a little bit of plastic around here just to create a, a suction seal, I guess. And there's no strong, no strong aluminum taste to it. When I reviewed that emergency canned water, it had a super strong metallic taste to it. This tastes like metal. This one might have a slight metallic taste, but it's a lot more mild than uh, the emergency canned water. This is called Proud Source Water. If you go to their website, it's all about just being proud of being from Idaho. A lot of stuff about them taking care of their land. In the town that this is made, they said that there's like one person per square mile in that in that town where this is made. And it's just a lot of open land, a lot of wilderness, just pure water. They say that this is filtered with uh, like UV light, but other than that, they don't add anything or take anything out of the water. That's what they said on their website. Just straight from the Rocky Mountains. Based on stuff I saw online, based on the videos, they really do seem to care about their land and uh, just keeping it fresh and clean and, and everything. All right, here is the Vita Nourish Water. When I reviewed the um, core hydration water, somebody said this, this can be used as a, as a little cup. I didn't even think of that when I first reviewed the vitamin, or the uh, core hydration water. But anyway, here is vitamin nourish. No smell. It tastes like a, like a Flintstones vitamin, kind of. And they were, in their website, they say it's like nanoparticles. You're not supposed to taste it or, or anything like that, but... You can, you can taste the vitamins. Like a sweet taste to it. And an interesting thing on their um, their website, I guess I'll just show you. They have a page that's... It's called, like, In, in the Media. This is supposed to be news articles about Vita Nourish. But on this page, In the Media, it's just, like, stock photos with pictures of the bottle. Because I, I guess they've never been in the media. So why do they have an in the media page? Just more stock photos. And then in this in the media page, they have social media links. Like Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Plus, YouTube, Pinterest, and uh, Instagram. But <laughs> most of these social media links just go to those websites. If I click, if I click the YouTube link... It just takes me to YouTube.com. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing they used like some kind of a template to make this website, and they just didn't take the time to actually check this stuff or create, you know, a YouTube page. If, if I go to the Twitter link, it takes me to Twitter.com because they don't have they don't have a Twitter page for this. Um, <laughs> if I click Google Plus, it just takes me to GooglePlus.com. <laughs> Or google.com slash plus or whatever. But it's kind of um, a weird thing. Like, they didn't put a lot of thought and effort into their website. Just a lot of stock photos. With the proud one, you can tell that they just... They actually spent time checking everything and, like, putting thought and energy and effort into the website. And that might not sound like a big deal. Like, who cares about the website? Who cares about um, social media stuff? But... It kind of does matter. Like, if they don't care about that, maybe they're not changing the water filters or something. If they don't care about one thing, it makes me think they don't care about other stuff that has to do with the actual product and the water itself. Let's have some more of this. I'm going to try this out as a cup. Here we go. I'm not sure if this is actually the intended purpose. It's kind of ridiculous. If You can just drink out of it, but um, here we go. Yeah, it's got like a strong plasticky taste to it. I wouldn't recommend using that as a cup. Okay, so these both claim to have a high pH level. The Proud Water claims to have an 8.1. I 
I'm not sure what this one claims to be, but I know it claims to have a high pH level, so let's test out the pH. Okay, here's the results of the pH test. I am colorblind, so I'm going to let you guys decide the exact number, but what do you think? To me, they both look like they have a high pH level, but what do you think? Which one do you think is higher? Leave a comment. All right, I don't have much else to say about either of these, so I'm just going to finish them up and decide which one I think is the winner and which one tastes best. This is actually pretty easy. I'm going to say the winner is the Proud Water. It has a much more pure and clean taste to it. It tastes like water. This tastes too sweet. It's too, like, too much of a fruity um, multivitamin taste to this one. And... I'm judging this mainly on the taste, but frankly, this seems like a better company also. <laughs> Just as a side extra bonus, this seems like a better company. So this one is the winner. I didn't finish it. There's like a third left. Uh, I'm going to save it for round two. So thanks for watching, everyone. Round two is up next. So bye.